Hi, I'm David Davis from Axel Tech Media. We're here at the headquarters of Quobite. Excited to be joined by Mr. Bjorn Kolbeck. He's the CEO and founder. How you doing, Bjorn? Bjorn? Good. So uh, we want to talk a little bit about the architecture of Quobite uh, and what makes the architecture specifically unique and, and different than other storage solutions that IT professionals you know, might have worked with before. So let's start with that. What's different about the Quobite architecture? Okay, I think it starts at the top that we are software only, running on commodity hardware. Okay. Um, so we spent a lot of time to make it really simple to install and manage. And then if you look under the hood, uh, we have an architecture that's inspired by HPC. So we have a separation of metadata and data. You can scale them independently, and it's really a shared nothing architecture where you can scale out. So we take care of the fault tolerance, uh, implemented that in software, so that you run on cheap commodity hardware, and then you can scale our system really from anywhere between four to thousands of servers and scale metadata and data independently depending on what you need. And what would be some of the use cases where I would want to scale out the metadata versus the data or the data versus the metadata? Why would someone want to do that? So there's use cases with um, billions of small files like um, life signs. Um, some of the financial simulations require those or open foam in the HPC industry. Um, if you have a use case like that, you want um, high performance metadata and a lot of it. In that case, you would scale out that part. If you have throughput workloads like um, some of the machine learning, traditional HPC, then you need a lot of data services. And doing that independently means you can adjust also to changing requirements. Okay. And what about scale up versus scale out? Is this a scale out solution? If I need more performance or capacity, can I just add more nodes? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's linear scaling, so when you double your number of nodes, you'll have twice the IOPS, twice the throughput, twice the metadata. So it's really simple to scale. Um, you just, if you know what four boxes will do, you can uh, extrapolate to thousands. And when people talk about commodity hardware, I think a lot of people think of old, um, perhaps not very high performant, you know, uh, compute solutions. What kind of commodity hardware do you guys run on? Is there a compatibility list and um, how much performance can you get out of this kind of commodity hardware? Yeah, commodity hardware nowadays is actually pretty high performance. Yeah. So we have a compatibility list, but in the end, from a modest uh, Xeon server with 40 gig Ethernet, you can saturate that. Um, we have customers running at 100 gig Ethernet and saturate on the client and server side from standard servers that you can order from Dell, Supermicro. And what type of uh, clients are supported? So on the client side, the consumers can be Mac, Windows, and Linux. And we also have adapters for NFS or S3, but we prefer our native protocol because it allows our customers to have this HPC approach where the clients directly talk to all your servers, so you're really only limited by your network or whatever your disks can provide. Nice. And I know the minimum number of nodes is four. What's the reason behind that? Is it high availability or? Yeah, high availability. So we work with quorums. This is also where our name comes from. Uh, so you need a minimum of three. If one dies, you want at least one spare. So you have four, all of them are active, and then you can run that system by itself even when things break. Okay. What if I have multiple data centers? Can I replicate data between these clusters? Yes, you can have geo-replication, and our next release also adds active-active uh, replication, so you can have multiple sites synchronizing to each other. Very nice. And I know that Quobi can run in the cloud. What's, what are the benefits of, of using cloud as well as on-premises? So we see a lot of customers that actually want to have the flexibility for running, for example, peak workloads. Developers like to run uh, test instances on the cloud. And with Quobite, they have the same environment on-prem as they have in the cloud. So the CEO can basically decide what is the best option. OK. And what about containers? Does Quobite support running con container, container file systems? Yeah, so uh, we see a lot of scale-out workloads now in containers, so that's a natural play for us as a file system. Um, you can even run Quobyte as yet another application on your container infrastructure. And if somebody wanted to try out Quobyte as, as kind of a proof of concept, what's the best way? How, how should they go about it? Uh, they can go to our website and download it. And if they have containers, they can um, use our operator to run it in their Kubernetes environment. Very nice. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.